Welcome viewers to TV Box Stop, the channel for the best reviews in TV boxes and accessories. Today's TV Box is a retro gaming console from Top Leo, but it's configured differently from all the models we have seen thus far. This is the Top Leo i96 Pro and it's a 4GB, 32GB Amlogic S905X4 Android TV Box. This box does not have to boot directly from an SD card to access its retro gaming platform. Instead, this new configuration allows you to boot up into Android and use it as a regular Android box and then to access its retro gaming system, they provided a special application. So in this review, we take a look at how this new configuration works and if it delivers a better gaming experience than the other models. So stay tuned, that's up next. Welcome back and before we get started, let's take a look at what you get in this purchase. You get the i96 Pro model itself, one infrared remote controller, a pair of PlayStation gamepad controllers, one HDMI cable, a 5V 2 amps power supply and a user manual for the Android box. So the body of this box is made of plastic and to its rear it has one HDMI port, one Ethernet LAN port, one AV port, one IR extender port, one optical audio port and its DC power input jack. To its side it has one USB 3.0 port, one USB 2.0 and a micro SD card slot with the retro gaming SD card already inserted. To its front has an LED display. And to its base has four anti skid rubber feet with no ventilation holes. So in a previous video, I already completed a detailed review of this exact model. The firmware has not changed or have been updated. So to view that review, you can use this link in the top right corner here or in the description below. So to quickly summarize what this model offers, its CPU is clocked at 2.0 GHz configured in 32-bit mode, its operating system is Android 11, its firmware is rooted, it has 4K 2160p display at 60Hz with adaptive HDR feature, Kodi Media Player and streaming APKs work great on this box, it has all the decoders for the playback of 4K HDR and AV1 videos and that includes the Dolby Vision decoders and it has surround sound audio decoders such as Dolby Atmos EEC3 and DTS HD. It has average benchmarks and a good 3D gaming with gamepad game mapping. And for a list of the scores, you can view my full in-depth review. So this is the launcher and to dive right into its primary function as a gaming console, you simply enter the app section and locate the YYBox gaming app. So this is its interface and in principle, it performs the same function as Emulation Station where it's actually a hub consisting of various emulators. It does not have all the settings and configuration that comes with MULEC as all settings are managed by the Android operating system. So its display, audio, Bluetooth and USB controllers are all managed by the Android OS. In total, you have 10,323 retro games from specific platforms such as MAME, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Classic, Famicom, PlayStation Portable, Mega Drive Genesis, Super Famicom, Capcom Power System 1, PlayStation 1, Neo Geo, International Gaming System and Capcom Power System 2. So before you begin playing, you will need to set up the included PlayStation Gamepad controllers. If you look into one of the Gamepad's battery compartment, you will find a USB dongle transmitter that works for both Gamepads which configures them as Player 1 and Player 2. So to pair each Gamepad to the dongle after of course installing batteries and turning on the power switch, simply press and hold the mode button until you see both red and green LEDs start flashing rapidly. Then on the dongle press the pairing button and it will automatically detect and pair to them. So 
So to play any game, you can either browse each emulator in alphabetical order or you can press both left and right trigger buttons on the gamepad to perform a search. Even though the games may be the same as in other retro gaming models, there is one thing that's different about the graphics rendering in this console. In all retro gaming consoles, the games are displayed in 8-bit graphics, however in this gaming console, all games are in 8-bit with interpolation. What this does is that it rounds out all the sharp edges produced by the 8-bit frames. So let's now take a look at some of the most popular retro arcade games and we'll see if the interpolation enhances the gaming experience. First up, we have the popular Mrs. Pac-Man. Next, we have the 2004 version of King of Fighters Plus. You have Iron Man 2. Assassin's Creed Naruto I've got nothing against you. It's just the fifth Hokage's orders. Tekken 6 <laughs> Round 1 Fight <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Sega Genesis version of Sonic the Hedgehog And of course, a wide selection of different versions of Street Fighter series, this one being Street Fighter Alpha 3. One thing worth mentioning is that a lot of these games are the arcade version and you can play them to the end by simply entering any number of coins you like using the select button. So in some of the games, the interpolation improves its display quality, however, it causes blurriness in others. But not all games apply interpolation, for example, the Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64 and the PS1 games are already in 3D so it's not needed. <laughs> And with that, I've come to the end of this review. So if you were born in the 90s and really missed the good old days of arcade gaming, or you were one of the newer generations and have a knack for retro gaming, then this is a pretty decent retro gaming console with a difference. 
So if you would like to get your hands on this gaming console, unfortunately, it's only being sold on the Top Leo Alibaba store for single purchase and for wholesale orders. So see the link in the description below this video. And as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are a new or existing viewer and you can look forward to more retro gaming consoles and exciting TV box reviews. So thanks for watching, stay tuned and see you in the next one.